So here we go. Now we are ready to save our bridge right here. So as always, click that save button up top. Make sure you're saving it every once in a while along the way. And we're going to take two pictures of our bridge right here that we're going to be turning in. Um, if you want to, you can turn all the other landscape and everything back on here. So I'm going to hit the display, turn on my hidden objects, exit that. Uh, I'm going to hit Control A to select everything, right click, unhide. So now everything's back. All right, so now this is what my bridge looks like. There's my little person right there playing with his toy boat. So I'm going to take two, two pictures of this. First one is just a nice little angled shot like here, like your isometric view of your 3D model right here. So you're going to export this image right here. Do not just take the screenshot button, but actually go to the uh, menu, file, export. So menu, export, PNG image. So get it so it looks good. You can still move it around right here. And hit export as PNG. So this will save one of those images. That's what one of them you're going to turn in right there. And then the other one you turn in, I want it to be a side view so it looks just like your piece of paper right here. So what we're going to do for that one is here in SketchUp, you're going to hit the Scenes button. So we mentioned this one a little bit earlier. I want to find the one that looks like it's from the side view, so right here. So yours might look like this. Find whichever, oh no, you can't see it right there. With the scenes view, whichever one looks like it's from the side view of your bridge. Right, so that's the top. There we go, side view. Now, this is that three-dimensional side view, so you can actually see multiple pieces in here. I don't want that. So I'm going to hit the side view, and I'm going to hit this parallel projection. So now you can see, let's move it right here, because I'm looking at it directly from the side. So my SketchUp looks exactly like my drawing right there. Now I also need to know how big this is. So I want you to annotate on here with the dimension button. So on you know your drawing you've got your dimensions that you need on SketchUp. Your tape measure tool and next to that you have one that says dimensions. And I'm going to click from this point to this point. You might have to zoom in from that point to that point to show me that it is 100 feet right there. I need you to show me the height of the bridge. So click on that dimension from this point to that point. You can go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. All the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. Show me the height of your bridge. So this one right here, it says 32 feet 6 inches. You might be saying, but I know I made it 30 feet. Why does it do that? Because you added an extra uh, 1 foot 3 inches here, an extra 1 foot 3 inches there. 1, 3 plus 1, 3 equals 32.6. As long as it's close to 30 feet by four, or to 40 feet, I'm not, you know, going to take off points. If it's like 25 feet, yeah, that's wrong. If it's like 48 feet, that's wrong. Um, but because when we have our drawing here, because we drew this and they're all straight lines, straight lines don't have dimension, they don't have thickness to it. Once we put it into SketchUp, it gave it thickness. So that's where some of that distortion came in. But that's okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take 
a picture from the direct side view. So I'm going to go again to my export PNG. I'm going to hit the side view so it looks like this right here, right? Um, again, make sure you had clicked that perspective button there. Scenes. Change it from perspective to parallel projection. Go to export, PNG, zoom in, pick that side view. So you should have one that shows the dimension. Eh, I moved it. Shows the dimension, shows the height, the length. If you have any other dimensions you need to show, you can show that as well. Um, you can hit the transparent background if you just want it to look like that. That's up to you. Then you're going to export PNG. So those two drawings, those two uh, models are what I need turned in for this assignment. And then as always, hit the save button.